What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. You're back for a series of a new video in the series on the Wasabi Wallet. Because, peers, guess what? Something big just happened. Reclaim your privacy just got a whole new version. Well, first of all, thank you for 10,950 Bitcoin uh, being coin joined with Wasabi. That's quite a couple million Satoshis. Uh, so that is a phenomenal success. Uh, and yes, there are still some hiccups, but wow, uh, we are moving uh, forward uh, every or one coin join round at a time. And look at this download the latest version, Wasabi Wallet version 1.1.1. That is new just out uh, just tweeted out so uh, here it's free it's open source it's integrating tor it's doing coin joins it has superb coin control features and of course you can build it from source which we're not going to do today and we're going to do today like the minimum viable update uh, for a noob that is running linux but still wants to be secure and check signatures and all that okay um, so this is a, a Linux um, Ubuntu uh, tutorial. And so this means that you first here, of course, have to download uh, either one uh, of, or one of these many different packages. If you are running Ubuntu, you can choose either the tar GC file or the Debian file. Um, I personally chose the Debian file. Um, no issue here, why not? And then the signatures. And of course, we are uh, very important here, connected over Tor. Uh, so here, the version 3 hidden service, that's always good. Um, link in the description, of course. Um, but you, we, you could now download here the signature, right? Uh, and then uh, make sure that it is downloading properly. And also, not just the file, but also the signature. Uh, I have already done that, so I no longer need to do it. Um, and in the meantime, though, let's... Uh, Go to github.com slash ckSnacks slash wasabi wallet where you can find the open source source code. And uh, here it uh, shows exactly how you could uh, do the upgrade with Git itself in the command line. Um, again, we're doing the graphical user interface line here. Um, and here are the release notes to Wasabi version 1.1.1. 1 .1 uh, and the really important cool thing is the partial Bitcoin Core integration. Um, so a, a little summary here is that basically Wasabi can now detect if on your computer you already have Bitcoin Core running. If you have a, a fully validated Bitcoin blockchain uh, with the current UTXO set and you are uh, then, and, and you are also uh, actively verifying new blocks incoming, then Wasabi uh, will still use inverted Golom rice filters. Uh, so it will still uh, be communicating with the Wasabi server uh, over these filters, which is okay. Um, the important thing is uh, that you are going to use uh, or that you are going to get the blocks, not from a random peer uh, on the network, but from specifically your own blockchain. So this means there is no internet um, uh, tracking uh, now more possible with which blocks you are interested in. Uh, it is all being done locally. Uh, and this is even better than having the pure Golom rice filter uh, as Wasabi already does. Uh, so this is phenomenal. We also have some uh, fixes for Tor stability, uh, which is great. Uh, and some more uh, dependencies or remove dependency for the Linux distribution. And we added the Debian, the, the Debian package, uh, which I have downloaded today. So we're going to go in depth uh, through what this is. Um, and the filter download for the, uh, the Golom Rice filters that are also used in Neutrino, uh, which is now just released by the Lightning Labs on Testnet for the Lightning Wallet. And they are now compressed and they are much faster uh, being transferred from the server uh, to your uh, client. So uh, the initial sync and the sync when you restart the client is going to be much faster. Um, and we also have the binaries now three times smaller um, because of these filters. Uh, they are no longer shipped uh, with the binaries themselves. They are downloaded in this compressed uh, manner as described, uh, described here line earlier. So the cool thing with Wasabi here is that it's overall just a regular efficiency patch, but with the added cherry on top uh, of now connecting to your local Bitcoin Core node. Um, I'm really curious to how I can link this up to my model. I've not yet tried it. Uh, this has just come out. So I'm going to update this now with you together. Uh, and again, you could read the install instruction here and I highly recommend it. Uh, very uh, 
very good um, on, on how this, this is done. Um, but as I said, we're going to do here, in addition uh, to the written instructions right here, uh, we are going to, first and foremost, um, here we have downloaded uh, both the file, the .davian package, and the ASC uh, signature. Uh, so very easy uh, to verify signatures, actually, in the graphical user interface. Simply double-click on the signature, and uh, the GNU Privacy Assistant will pop up. And you will see that there is this signature that you have selected. And now you can click on this little blue key, which, uh, which says check signature of selected file. And then it will see which file in, your, uh, in this repository uh, has been signed with this key. And it says here that it has verified mathematically, cryptographically, uh, that the, this data um, and which is here the home directory of then the Wasabi version 1.1.1 Debian package has been signed with uh, this specific signature. Uh, so we have now verified uh, that the package that we have downloaded uh, right here from the uh, Wasabi wallet uh, .onion a Tor website uh, is actually the one that the, the, that the developers want us to have. So that is perfect. And now again, really simple, simply double click the Debian file, and it's going to pop up here the uh, the little uh, install wizard in the Ubuntu software package. And we see that it is open source, the non-custodial privacy-focused Bitcoin wallet with built-in Tor, CoinJoin, and coin control features. Um, and uh, we see that this is the source right here. Uh, it is a local file and this version. So perfect. We're going to install this here uh, with one click. And now I'm going to type in my password here. Um, and we're going to install this here, everything then in the back end. This is a very intuitive user interface build. Of course, if you want to have the very um, in-depth uh, version of how you can build this from source, uh, then that's perfect. Uh, why not? Uh, but you don't have to. And we're done already. Uh, so you could theoretically already delete um, both of these files. And let's see, is Wasabi now already in the applications? Yes, it is. Now we have Wasabi in the applications. And I'm going to directly pull it right here into my favorites. That is awesome because we now have the Linux .deb package, the Debian and Ubuntu specific packaging version. Now we have uh, an icon which we can press. Uh, and can and open up the Wasabi wallet. Uh, and let's see what is going to happen. Ooh, magic stuff. Is it going to work out? Well, hopefully it is. And there we have it. We have Wasabi wallet. Uh, and Tor is running. We are connected to the back end. We are connecting to Pierce now, hopefully. We have the price. Who cares about the price? We'll connect it to, to Pierce now. Uh, isn't that awesome? And where can we see help uh, about... And we are on version 1.1.1. So we have successfully updated uh, from, uh, we have successfully updated our Wasabi wallet uh, from the Tor, downloaded the package over the Tor website, verified the signatures really intuitively in the user interface and securely uh, updated and installed this new version. And now we can again, uh, well, coin join our coins and make sure that our privacy is protected. Uh, and Pierce, that is it. That is how easy you can make sure that you are running the latest version. And again, many cool bug fixes. Um, now it should automatically detect uh, your, your Bitcoin full mode if you have one running locally. Uh, again, I have to check how I can do this with the noddle. That's going to be my task as soon as I'm done recording this video. Uh, but Pierce, thank you very much here for joining me again and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.